Hello everyone, it's me Ilian from DM Trading Bulgaria and after our second presentation yesterday uh, of our master class today the day has come for me to uh, make this video uh, which will be a recap of my trading plan from last week uh, last week I shared with you a trading plan based on the Great British Pound Canadian dollar currency pair uh, the plan was uh, made on the uh, one hour time frame and uh, today I would like to see and actually show you how the plan developed uh, if we had any opportunities to enter and of course uh, what are my future predictions regarding this pair so let's get started what you currently see on the screen is the plan itself posted on TradingView last week on November 13th uh, just a few words uh, regarding the plan uh, when I posted the plan you can see where the price was and uh, we were prepared with uh, several scenarios uh, the first one was for the price to bounce of this H4 support area which basically represented the bottom of this uh, range formed here so uh, it was acting as a uh, resistance area uh, in this case and uh, if uh, this happened we were going to look for a sell opportunity until our our target zone one you can see how the price reacted from that zone and then uh, probably uh, we were going to anticipate a correction back to that area and a new stronger wave down to our target zone 2 which uh, represents the last bottom the price made uh, we also had this long term uh, target zone uh, of course this is for uh, our partial trades or uh, swing trades on this pair now this was the first scenario the second was uh, if the price entered back inside between this H4 support which we already mentioned and this H4 resistance area which marks uh, the um, ceiling, the top of this uh, range. Uh, we were expecting for the price to easily reach that area and uh, bounce from there, thus reaching the target zone 1. So this was a better scenario, we could have caught uh, more uh, pips on it and uh, let's see what happened on this plan. You can see a perfect development of the plan. Uh, the price entered inside uh, of this area, uh, but it stopped right here on the H4 resistance area. Then we saw a small drop, uh, a bounce from this support. Again, the price retraced back to this resistance, uh, a bit stronger uh, bounce from there, which uh, uh, dropped the price to our target uh, zone one then another uh, sort of a retracement back to that H4 resistance and uh, soon after that from there we saw a huge drop in price uh, which actually this drop covered not only the area between this H4 resistance area to our target zone one but also as you can see to target zone 2 and also we've reached our long-term target zone so this was an uh, insanely great move and it could have uh, brought you if you follow the plan some great profits you can see that we were more inclined to short this pair uh, now here you can see the movements were a bit uh, strange uh, the market was going down the market was going up basically it was a point uh, that uh, was filled with a lot of uh, news uh, regarding brexit and uh, traders couldn't decide uh, where they want to push the price uh, and finally they decided that it should go down from here so we saw this dump uh, in the price and then uh, so far we are seeing some uh, upswing now I'll, I want to switch to the live uh, chart and just show you a few possible entry points. Uh, also I wanted to mention that as you can see we have uh, predicted correctly the possible entry point 1 or entry point 2 doesn't matter uh, right here at that resistance area. So uh, 
I wasn't able to share with you any life signals. Uh, this happened really fast, but if you follow the plan and if you have a good trading strategy, you could have uh, taken advantage of this great uh, possibility and made some uh, pretty nice profits. Uh, now on the live char chart, I want to show you just a few possibilities that uh, I would have taken. Uh, so, obviously here the, the movements were pretty strange. Uh, you could have entered here if you are using uh, higher highs or lower lows as a strategy. So here after this uh, wave finished, we had our first uh, high. Then we have a correction and a new high. But as you can see, this high was just a bit above uh, the previous one and uh, actually it uh, stayed inside of the H4 resistance and the price um, quickly retraced back breaking uh, this previous high so this was uh, the first good chance to enter you can see that after that the price just went down easily to our uh, target one area where you could have closed some percentage of, uh, of your trade now uh, other possibilities on the H1, uh, of course, you could have entered uh, here if you're using, using candlestick formations. As a sign uh, you can see we have a bearish engulfing. The price once again uh, bounces from this H4 resistance. So it was a good spot, uh, depending on where you placed your stop loss here, uh, you got either touched or you didn't and you got that move. And uh, last but not least, if you are using uh, formations uh, or shapes on the market to enter, the perfect entry for me would have been right after this rectangle formation was broken. So on this candle, you can see that this was just the beginning of this huge move and you could have made some great profits with it. This is the H1 time frame, of course. If we switch down to the M30, you can probably find uh, better spots to enter. Uh, so you could have entered uh, also here on this engulfing if you're raising uh, candlestick formations. Also here you can see that we have yet another uh, shape, a rectangle on the market. So uh, when we saw actually the break of this shape once again you could have entered here so a few good pos possibilities uh, if we switch to the H4 a bit bigger time frame uh, on the H4 it's uh, it would be kind of hard to uh, pick the right spot first that and second uh, you had to wait for this huge candle to close and at this point it's kind of too late to enter although the price moved further down but you know uh, the plan was on the H1 so our, our entries, entries should have been placed on either the H1 or M30 or even lower. Now you can see that uh, especially the last uh, trade if you entered somewhere here you could have made if you reach the bottom so that's a lot of pips I think let me uh, let me see how much exactly um, so if you entered here uh, let's say you were going to close probably somewhere here and that's uh, 320 pips I think something like that which is extremely well so, uh, enough on that. I hope you managed to catch uh, some of those uh, possibilities uh, if you followed our plans. Uh, also, I shared with you one life signal uh, on the, uh, sorry, it was on the uh, Euro. Let me check because I shared one uh, with you today as well. Uh, all of our, I, our signals are shared on our Telegram channel. Uh, the sign I shared with you was not on a plan uh, that we 
showed you. It was on one of our plans that we share with our uh, customers and the sign was on the USD cat. Uh, we uh, uh, bought and our take profit area was hit. Uh, also, I want to add here that actually the price went further, further up. So you could have made some great profits on this life signal. However, let's uh, get back to the uh, GBP cat currency pair and uh, the current development. You can see that from here, uh, so far we've been having an uptrend uh, and the price is currently standing between those two target zones. Now in this case, uh, there are a few possibilities. If the uptrend continues, I would expect it to do so from target zone 2. Uh, I don't expect for the price. If the price goes below this target zone, then the uptrend uh, has failed. So if it continues, maybe we can look for short-term possibilities uh, to buy the pair from here to uh, most likely this H4 support, which now uh, will turn to an H4 resistance. Uh, hopefully the price can maybe go even uh, further up to this H4 resistance, but this is um, more of a luck factor. Uh, and then here it's more of a chance. Uh, I believe this can happen. Uh, of course, we can see the other scenario for the price to just start dropping from here and break this target zone. In this case, uh, maybe you can look for an entry somewhere here, uh, but uh, this would be a bit um, risky. Uh, maybe the price will bounce a bit from this uh, zone and probably do something like that. Then you can again look for a sell opportunity maybe here. Or uh, the other possible outcome, uh, which I see, is for the price to just drop to this long-term target zone which we had, which is basically a support area. Then uh, retrace again to that target zone too and move either make a double bottom here or move further down. So if this scenario happens, you can look for possibilities to enter somewhere here. This is it on this recap. I hope you enjoyed it and I really hope you followed uh, my trading plan and also the sign I posted, although not on this trading plan. Uh, you could have made some great profits. If you still haven't joined our Telegram channel, do it now from the link below this video. And our team wishes you a great weekend.